In my previous video, I made a painting with whatever tools I found available in my hut. Enamel colors, old brushes, and old pieces of wood. Still, I have another piece of wood remaining. And this time, I want to paint mushrooms. Enamel is probably the cheapest paint available. It has a very strong smell and takes a little longer to dry. But this is what I have for today. Somehow I like the effect of these colors, but it's not really easy to blend. In most of the paintings, we always start with the background. And in this case, I'm not so much concerned about details, because everything will be blurry in the back. The life of the devotees of Lord Krishna are very simple, and we live our lives dedicated to the worship of the Lord. So this winter, I have decided to come to Varshana, which is a holy place in India, and stay here in a very small hut with no electricity and no material comforts. Still, art is something which is part of me, and I have to always be creating something. And because all my art tools are in my brother's house, I'm really enjoying to make paintings with whatever God gives me. In these paintings, I'm not really concerned about perfect blending, and perfect lines and details. I'm simply enjoying the process. I think all the artists should do this sometimes. If our brush is more free and we don't have to be so much concerned about rules of painting, the whole process becomes more like a meditation and a relaxing moment, which helps us to connect with the Lord and the nature. If we simply learn to see everything from the philosophical point of view, we can understand that everything in nature are actually our guru, our teacher. In the same way that the lotus flower takes birth and grows in the most dirty places, still not affected by its surroundings, the mushroom is somehow the same. It grows in dark places and full of moisture reminding us that even in the most difficult situations, we can find good, we can find light. The Vedic scriptures explain this point very nicely. According to its teachings, this world is the world of duality, which means that nothing is 100% good or bad. Everything in this world has its bad and the good side. We just have to learn how to be aloof from that. Remaining above all these inevitable dualities of life. Just like the mushroom, who grows even in the darkest places and remains untouched and beautiful. There is one quote from Bhagavad Gita which I always carry with me wherever I go and I never forget. It is said, the appearance and disappearance of happiness and distress are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer season. They arise from sense perception only, and one must learn how to tolerate them without being disturbed. A person who follows these teachings can find real happiness and eternal peace.